right this video is just going to be looking at um, you know the state of humanity YouTube um, the church in general if indeed there, there is such a thing nowadays I think it's been broken up so much into factions and denominations and uh, even dispensation, hyper dispensationalists even you know you, you can understand about dispensations you know how God gradually revealed his salvation plan through Abraham Isaac Jacob you know through Moses and coming to completion through Yeshua uh, a lot of people again don't understand what completion means they think it means uh, well they think completion means um, starting something new and that's not what completion means it means um, completing something that's already been ordained um, and teaching that which has been ordained from the beginning in fact you know the, the Bible testifies that that Jesus or Yeshua <clears throat> existed um, before the world was he is the lamb who takes away from the foundation of the world you know the lamb from the foundation of the world who takes away the sin of each individual who repents of each individual who listens to the gospel and believes it and receives it the new age concept today is believe and receive anything if you want to be whatever it's talking about positive mental attitude normally but um, the bible says that what a man thinks he is thinks it doesn't say what a man says he is you can say you're an astronaut or you can say you're the president of the United States but it's not going to happen it's not never going to happen you know, in the present tense, it's not going to happen tomorrow, next year, or ever. You know, the Bible says what a man thinks in his mind. So it's talking about mental attitude in your life, um, and it's a good thing. Uh, remember, I've met a few men and women of God in the past, and you know, I've uh, I used to play a lot of sports, and I mentioned uh, once a few trophies at golf. Um, like to start off with and you know you 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 really concentrate when, when when you start to play a sport um you really study it you really put your heart and mind into it so you know when you're going to take a shot you're you're thinking about you know where to put the ball you're sort of imagining in your mind in a way um wh what you'd like to do with the ball and it's the same in f football or any other sport you you have a thought and then you try and execute um, your thought, and um, you know this is this is where the the power of positive mental attitude comes from, and it is very important in sports. You know, having a strong mental attitude. It's the same in life, I suppose. Um, you know, carrying through the things that the Holy Spirit gives us to do. You know, we could be in prayer, the Holy Spirit could be really showing you to, to, to give uh, something to someone or go out and preach or in this case make a YouTube video <laughs> which you've got a few things to discuss but you you really got to have a have a understanding pray for the spirit of understanding because Satan just tries to mimic God's God's kingdom and you really have to um, study the Word of God. This is why we need an accurate Bible translation. Yes, there is over a dozen King James Bibles for the King James only lists. It's a fact. But within all these um, King James Bibles and the William Tinsdale Bible, they're translated from the correct manuscripts, and that's what you got to really understand. A lot of people just miss miss the that fact and they go off and use a lot of modern Bible translations well I prefer this one I really like the way you know the words used in this one but it's from the wrong manuscripts it's not it's not the Word of God it's from some other manuscripts which uh, have been binned by the early church not been used in places like Antioch which uh, we know that's where the first um, believers in Yeshua were, were called Christians it's just a Greek word for followers of the anointed one 
or being Christ-like, a Christian. I think I think the name Christopher means follower of Christ. Um, th that doesn't mean to say we're little Christs. Again, that's a fault. That that's something that Satan, the philosophy Satan brings in. You've got to be very very um, aware about that uh, about what you're thinking, what you're speaking. And the the little Christ theory is something that uh, you know the fake church runs with. You know your Benny Hens and your Joyce Myers, she thinks she's a little Christ. Benny Hinn thinks he's a little Christ. No, that they're little abominations um, in, in the eyes of the true Messiah. That That's what they are. And you are not a little Christ. You are a follower, a follower of Christ. Okay, a follower of Christ. If you're anointed with the Holy Spirit, that means that you're born again. As, as Yeshua taught, a man must be born again in order to inherit the kingdom of God. It's a spiritual birth from above, as he went on to explain to Nicodemus. He went on to explain that. You see? And so, you know, what we have on, on YouTube is, is men that have supported and followed on my channels for, I'm not seeing them all. Uh, I think in particular I have a uh, quite a sensitivity towards those who are speaking about the, the Nephilim you know the, the fallen angel thing because you can lose a lot of credibility trying to tackle these issues but I have real respect um, for um, people who, who try to at least tackle these issues you know someone like Kent Hovind keeps his, his, his sort of general credibility among you know the, the general Christian populace by avoiding these subjects. I really like Kent Hovind. I think he's one of the the greats in the Christian church the past few decades. Um, and I think, admittedly, he doesn't know everything either. He's not right in every aspect, but he does avoid things like the the, the Nephilim. He does speak briefly about them. But I think there's enough evidence now to tackle that subject to really see that there is has been a lot of hybrids. You know, the fallen angels have used. Uh, as it says in the book of Enoch, it does say in the word of God, which was in the original King James Bible, 1611, the book of Enoch was in that, and it explained that uh, God's creation had been corrupted by the fallen ones. Both animals, humans, which I believe even the word human is not correct, men is, is or man, created, men and women is, is, is the correct definition of who we are. But uh, human, I think that's a, a, a lesser, um, sort of like a hybrid, you know. Um, and ev even in the the legal, the, they call it the legal industry for want of a better word, because it is, they're just making money from, from uh, falsely accusing people. But, uh, you know, human rights, are you a human or are you a man, you know? I'm a man created in the image of God and that's how we got to represent ourselves in court. Um, the lawyers. Solicit means to sell your services. Solicitors will not, or harlots basically, spiritual harlots who ha who are actually being used by Satan the dragon. That That's all these people are really. You know, the same with uh, the priests who are, you know, are, are dressed in um, sc um, scarlet it says in the book of Revelation all these and they're various ones it's not just the Catholic Church but but these are sort of occult colors that um, the dragon is red and so they, they wear red and the harlot wears red and you know John describes it as because she is um, her garments are stained by the blood of the saints because she drinks the blood of the saints and as we see in occultism they actually literally do that many cases so and they have been doing that for a long time as they you know the apostles were killed murdered crucified um jesus says you know my followers you know a servant is no greater than his master that which happens to me it's going to happen to you also and it happened to a lot of christians in egypt a number of years ago over five years ago now they're crucifying christians and they would love to do that in the west as well all these satanists they would love the time that they could uh do that um, the Christian church I think is in complacency in the fact that um, men who could pr possibly um, start credible ministries have 
rightly separated themselves from the false churches, but at the same time they won't um, bring themselves into subjection to people who are truly anointed and gifted in the Holy Spirit, and that they use the term, uh, the gifts were just for the first century. It's a very, very dangerous statement. What, what it does is it takes away any spiritual discernment, it takes away credibility from those who have been appointed uh, by God um, to serve him and to feed his flock. And so it takes away um, sheep that God has appointed shepherds to feed the flock. And these people come out with these unbiblical, ungodly statements like the spiritual gifts were for the first century. And they actually take a lot of people along with them into destruction while uh, the fruit of it is that it um, makes people avoid you know the, the ones with the false spiritual gifts the ones who are doing the false signs and wonders from Satan such as Todd White and Benny Hinn so it sort of it cancels them both out both, both the true and the false and so it's a very very deceptive statement to make and that statement is very much found in a lot of King James only um, um, places sadly to say even though the King James Bible very much teaches um, about spiritual gifts very much teaches that when you're born again the Lord will give you a spiritual gift to edify the body and granted a lot, a lot of Christians true born again Christians don't really know how to use their gifts to edify the body of Christ uh, and they end up sort of saying uh, rejecting them and making making faithless statements like uh, I don't have spiritual gifts no you must have faith to please God you must speak words from the Holy Spirit which are pleasing to God in which if God has given you a spiritual gift it's up to you to uh, ask God if you have any and the Lord will show you if you have any but if you're listening to the false teachers telling you you don't have any and you just parrot what they're saying uh, these statements are are not faith based. They they they're man based, and they're not they're not Bible based. Even though these pe these people call themselves, uh, we are Bible believers. Well, so is Satan a Bible believer? You know he he knows that he's condemned to the lake of fire. He knows who Jesus Christ is. He knows his time is short. Yeah, but he's not going to obey the word of God. He's not going to conform into the likeness of Christ, is he? Absolutely not. He's, he's in rebellion towards God and so that's what's going to happen to, to the generation that say that the, the gifts are done away uh, or, or you know it was just for the first century or, or the, these type of faithless statements um, they're going to take a lot of souls to hell and they're going to stand before God and God's going to show them those whom he appointed during their lifetime to feed the flock to um, you know um but they had spiritual gifts, for example, gifts of knowledge, um, gifts of discernment, dreams and visions, which really should, should have been presented before the body in order to interpret, you know, gifts of interpretation. And so we just should just keep our eyes and our ears open rather than closing our eyes and ears to, to everything around us and just saying, um, well, anyone who prophecies or anyone who's had a dream you know any prophetic dream anyone who speaks in tongues are demonic that's uh, it both cancels out the false and the true that statement um, and it creates your own little bubble you know so um, yeah I hope I've uh, sort of exposed that enough there's a lot of people I do respect on YouTube that have ministries exposing for example Fake, fake churches, um, I, I, idolatrous churches. You know, I've spoken about you know certain families controlling the Illuminati, the mafia, the Knights Templar. You got all these sort of sort of things that expose all that, and that's great. But I do think there's a hidden hidden faction behind all that that they can't see unless you have revelation from God. Um, a lot of people have personally attacked, uh, like for example, Henry Groover, and and I look at a man like Henry Groover, and I, th I think, well, th there's nothing really I can say about him that 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 I could say he's, he's a false apostle. 
you know, I look at someone like that and I think like 90% spiritual discernment, I would say that he's following the Lord. I look at someone like Benny Hinn and you just know deep down in your stomach, you know, no matter what propaganda, if he uses the King James Bible, if he does this, says this, quotes this word of God, deep down you just know he's not of God. That, you know, that, uh, you know, the same with Duncan Williams in, in Ghana. A lot of people follow Duncan Duncan Williams in, in Ghana, think he's a great man of God. I just look at the man and I think the guy's got more demons than, than a graveyard. Uh, you know, um, he's, he's filled with demons, that guy. Uh, I look at young converts like Chris LaSala with good intent in serving the Lord. I think he's a very good heart towards God and I think that that is his intent to serve God is really what's uh, keeping keeping him going I think he's he's, he's developing some good discernment and yet um, I think he's got quite a lot to learn that's just an example of someone here on YouTube I mean I wouldn't even make videos about someone um, if I didn't think they were worthy of rebuke or they were worthy of um, some sort of attention towards you know um so you know, I've mentioned some some people that I'm subscribed to, and I've made one or two videos about them. That they're worthy to speak about, um, because they they have a certain amount of truth, and maybe they're new converts, but maybe they they just need refinement, or maybe they need uh, really to repent of certain things. You know, as as I know, Brian Denlinger is, is is a guy that just says, "Oh, the spiritual gifts are done away." He needs to repent of that, man. No doubt about it. You know. Um, a guy like Chris LaSala should really repent about the fact that as believers we should keep the commandments of God. I mean that statement in itself is self-explanatory. doesn't really need that much deep teaching even though I could go on for several hours teaching about the commandments. But just making that faith statement which is in line with the word of God is pleasing to God and God pours out his spirit on people like that and gives them understanding. But someone who's making statements like the law's done away, it says in the book of Psalms that even he who does not hear the law, even his prayers shall be an abomination towards God. And those of you who are listening, those of you who are um, have discernment or read the Bible, you know what I'm speaking is 100% truth. And the fact is that, um, you know, I've been on YouTube for a while, Nobody really makes, I don't care about people making videos about me or, or whatever, right? But the fact is that um, a lot of the Christians on here are just scared and they're just protecting what they think is, is their ministry or, or their credibility or their following. And they're not really prepared to um, re really um, present uh, the facts of the Word of God as they are. And, and I think they do have the spirit of fear. And I think they, um, you know, that the, they're they're sort of in line for a, a rebuke from the Lord because they have um, rejected a lot of truths, and they want to get into these little clique groups, which uh, there's you know all all different types uh, out there in, in in Christianity and Christendom, and they think that they'll be safe within these little clique groups, and nothing could be further from the truth. We're only safe when we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. And by safe I mean in salvation, in the will of God, in the purposes of God, um, flowing in the power of God, through the Holy Spirit of, of God, and so on and so on. <clears throat> that is safety, because Satan is like a roaring lion. He can work by it through any means. The Word of God says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, as long as we are in the Lord. As long as we have a sensitivity towards um, the Lord himself, that if we get something wrong, if we sin, we admit that sin. As, 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 as long as we're made aware of it, we admit that sin, we repent about it. We ask God for a solution um, um, in order to refine us or in order to use us more or, or whatever it may be. If we've had a dream or vision, we don't understand it some people put it out there you know me personally I've quite I've had quite a lot of dreams and visions that I've made videos about which all seems to be in line with uh, what a lot of people are noticing happening about the mark of the beast coming out and I've and I've got all this stuff like 1995 
in a in a Baptist church. So you can imagine, you know, when I when I truly received the Holy Spirit and you know that the Lord um, really showed me a lot of things, spoke to me audibly. That there's a lot of jealous people in that church. There's a lot of people that started probably spreading rumors about me in that church because it's the spirit of Satan that that is in operation, and that type of thing has happened to uh, Joseph in the Bible. You know, his brothers rejected him, but see, God's purposes were being worked out in his life. You see, and all we can do if we get things, I mean, ended up in, in jail, Joseph, for a certain amount of years, he was ignored. Even he interpreted dreams. Can you imagine, which, which I've had the experience of, by the way, for example, um, rebuking demons from people and people just completely forgetting me, you know, completely like... Uh, even even disrespecting me for it because these you know certain other people are filled with demons and they want to still influence these other people who've been delivered from demon possession and so after a person is delivered or after a person is born again satan is always going to try and influence that person's life in some way and a lot of satan's agents will appear as your friends as your best friends buying you things doing things for you but they have the intent and purpose of destroying your spiritual life destroying the spiritual work that Jesus Christ has just started in your life which he wants to bring to completion but many of us in these fake man-made churches faithless fake man-made churches cannot develop in these environments which reject the word of God and at the same time say they are Bible believers. It's a very sneaky statement that being a Bible believer. What about being a Christ believer? Are there any Christ believers within the Bible believing community? Are there any Holy Spirit led believers within the Bible believing community? That's the real question. That's the real question. Even Satan is a Bible believer. And so I'll leave you with these thoughts. Um to hopefully that they'll instruct you in your Christian walk which is the whole purpose of um, what a real Christian channel should be about um, if you find any of the videos that I make edifying please share them you know tick, tick the box whatever to get my videos in it um, share my channel on, on your own channel and it will grow <coughs> um, we need other Christians and other believers true believers to help each other spread the word of God um, and I've not received a lot of help in the church and I've not received any help whatsoever zero help on YouTube by other YouTubers sharing um, I think there's well there's probably a handful of people who have made some playlists up of my videos um, in some occasion I know I make music videos as well I've inspired a few and I praise God about that but generally um, there's no it be, you know, because probably you can't really define what type of movement this is, but it is a Holy Spirit led movement where, you know, we should get together, discuss the scriptures, and um, pray for each other, and specifically get in line with the, the, the written and the living Word of God, Yeshua the Messiah. May the Lord bless you.